So this Yakiniku restaurant is renowned for serving premium Wagyu, specially sourced from all around Japan. Less than five minutes from Tokyo Station, it's a great choice to experience top-tier Yakiniku that's expertly chosen and cooked to perfection. What made this spot particularly impressive was their special selection omakase course, which allowed the chef to showcase and serve the best cuts available. With a wide variety of unique and delicious offerings, we'll do a piece-by-piece -piece breakdown so you can get an idea of what this incredible experience entails. So this particular course comes with seven to eight different cuts of Wagyu, depending on what's available. Each piece included is A4 to A5 grade, meaning you're guaranteed to experience exceptional quality yakiniku regardless of the day's menu. This piece of Wagyu tongue, for example, had a particularly rich marbling that was definitely a standout. This resulted in a piece that was firm yet tender with a perfectly toothsome bounce. The flavor was also excellent. It had a unique mouthfeel that was both crisp on the outside and succulent on the inside. This course also came with sauces and our chef helped recommend which to use for each meat. Another one of the great joys of omakase is getting to try and experience things you wouldn't have known to order on your own. In addition to the adventure of not knowing what the chef will present next, it's also reassuring to have the decision making taken care of by experts, allowing you to relax and enjoy the best selections without worry. So this was certainly a highlight of the meal. Not only was the marbling immediately impressive, but the sukiyaki style of serving was an exciting experience. Witnessing the expertise of the staff firsthand was also a treat. The knowledge and precision required to cook such a thin and fine slice of meat to the correct doneness is something I happily entrusted to our waiter. So normally sukiyaki consists of just raw egg. Here, they combine mountain yam to create a sauce that's smooth, silky, and perfectly complements the melt-in-your-mouth wagyu sirloin. This piece was also memorable on multiple fronts. Not only was the marbling a thing of beauty, but the grillsmanship that we were treated with made the experience that much more enjoyable. Right before our very eyes, our chef prepared the cuts with a combination of swiftness and elegance in conjunction with pinpoint timing and masterful finesse. The knowledge and expertise required to cook this premium Wagyu as intended was simply awe-inspiring. A series of constant rearrangements and flips ensured that every side of this thick cup was cooked evenly without being overdone and preserving the steak's natural tenderness. All in all, it was a long and meticulous process that required constant attention and it was certainly a culinary feat I wouldn't have been able to replicate myself. Though all the work surely paid off as it was cooked to tender, juicy, medium rare perfection. Wasabi was also provided as a perfectly fresh, spicy, sharp pairing. And next, we had even more variety. One of the best parts of Japanese yakiniku is the portion sizing, where small cuts let you sample a plethora of different tastes and textures all in the same meal. The structure of a makase also lends itself to a feeling of culinary exploration, where you effectively get to experience each piece one by one. This gives you time to savour each offering individually, allowing you to notice and appreciate the subtle differences in marbling and flavour between each cup. Additionally, the order of the offerings is thoughtfully conceived and curated by the chef. Choosing an omakase course such as this is entrusting your dining experience to their expertise and allowing them to guide you on a culinary journey. This was also a standout piece with the marbling being spectacularly rich and even throughout. To describe it as melt in your mouth is probably a bit of an understatement. And now for the last few offerings of the meal, which like everything else preceding, were spectacular. These pieces were recommended to be enjoyed without any of the sauces, likely because they appeared to be delicately pre-seasoned, and so the full natural flavors of the Wagyu could be savored. And even though these final pieces were truly delicious in every sense of the word, it's hard to look back and choose a standalone favorite. 
With a grand total of nine distinct cuts of premium Wagyu, it's difficult to point to one being head and shoulders above the others. So I think this is a testament to the chef's skill for creating a Yakiniku lineup of the utmost quality across the entirety of the meal. All in all, I thoroughly enjoyed this Wagyu Omakase experience and would certainly recommend it to anyone looking to delve into the exquisite world of Wagyu. And that's all for now. As always, wishing you the absolute best of travels. Until next time, cheers.